Disney movies are usually so perfect, from the first to the last second. But one guilty pleasure that we're all guilty of is seeing something that is supposed to be so perfect prove to be imperfect. It just goes to show that everything and everyone has flaws. Hey guys, welcome back to Daily List. I'm Azalea Hart. Now we would think that a brand as big as Disney would have no flaws, right? The artists and the producers and everyone involved in a Disney movie is probably so meticulous but I found some mistakes. Maybe those really long hours working on the Disney movies that we know and love made them miss these mistakes. So let's get into the list. So I think at this point we all believe that the Beast was cursed unreasonably. Like he didn't deserve to be cursed. So the story says that this old ragged woman came to his door in the middle of the night seeking shelter and he refused her. But what would you do in this situation? An old woman, probably homeless, scary looking, knocks on your door in the middle of the night and asks to stay at your house. Are you just gonna open your door and say, oh yeah, sure, come on in? Because I for one, would say no. Anyway, so she curses him and turns him into a beast. And if he can't find someone who loves him for who he is, not how he looks by the time he turns 21, he has to stay the beast forever. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? So I have two issues with this. First one being, who the heck finds love before they turn 21? Real love, true love, and two brings me to my next point. So apparently this whole story of him not letting the woman in the house happened 10 years before the story we watched happen when he met Belle. So he was running out of time. Since the passing of time then, that means he was 10 or 11 years old when he was cursed. So all of those stained glass images of him turning away the old witch as an adult can't exist. And what 10 or 11 year old is obsessed with the way people look anyway? And why was he even answering the door in the middle of the night? And why would she curse a child? Was it even up to him to decide whether she could stay the night or not? There's so many questions, which leads up to my next point. Remember when Beast was so angry in one of the scenes that he slashed that portrait of himself from what he used to look like? Ashamed of his monstrous form, the Beast concealed himself inside his castle. Well, he was obviously a grown man in that photo, but like I said, he was 10 or 11 at the age of the cursing, so that photo can't exist either. But it seems they realize their mistake and they fix it in the new Beauty and the Beast. And one final mistake in Beauty and the Beast. Speaking of the slash, he slashes his portrait one way, but when we see the Claudette portrait again, it's slashed a completely different way. When Pocahontas goes to see John Smith after he's captured by the tribe, she's holding hands with her friend, clearly. But take a look at their shadows. Their shadows are not even touching. I can't leave you. You never will. No matter what happens to me, I'll always be with you. In this scene, Princess Jasmine's awesome gold armband keeps switching arms. Get the lamp! No! <laughs> Tiana was wearing earrings. Oh, there they are. Wait, they're gone again. Tia, it's getting to be so late. There's still a few stragglers. This is no fair. My prince is never coming. For Mulan, I just have one question about this scene. Fulfill your duties calmly and respectfully. How did Mulan take out the fire that was on that woman's butt by throwing hot tea in her face? Disney, come on. So who doesn't love the soundtrack from The Little Mermaid? But take a look at this from the movie. She don't got a lot to say, but there's something about her. Clearly, Ariel's hair is down during the song, Kiss the Girls, sha la 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 don't be scared. Let them lose their hair, go on and kiss the girl. Oh, oh. sha la 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 don't stop now, go try to hide it out. But look at their silhouettes. Ariel's hair is very clearly in an updo. Huh, 
All right, and one more for Little Mermaid. Remember when Ursula took Ariel's voice and then she turned into Vanessa? Well, take a look at this scene. Vanessa stomped on her dressing table and smashed a pink jar that wasn't even there in the beginning. <laughs> Although not Disney, this Universal Pictures movie has one slight mistake. Did you guys catch that? He had the airplane in his left hand the entire time, even when he fell. So when did he even have time to switch hands during that fall? One more non-Disney movie, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Cal is so excited here that he woke up in his pajamas, as we all do, jumped out of bed to see the ice cream fantasy world outside, wiped the window, but somehow put on his jacket super fast. <laughs> In this scene where Flynn cut Rapunzel's hair, he had shackles on. Then, no shackles when he caressed her face. But then, his shackles appeared again when he goes to cut her hair. Eugene. Disney, get it together, man! Anyway, these small mistakes does not take the beautiful wonder out of our favorite Disney movies. They're still gonna be our favorites and we're gonna watch them in awe every single time. So that's it for this episode of Daily List 12 Disney Movie Mistakes. And if you have some mistakes that you know that happened to Disney movies that I didn't put on this list, comment down below and let me know what they are. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss an episode and follow me on social media and I'll see you guys next time.